In my dream, I'm visiting with my parents, and I feel like it's going to be the last time that I'll ever be able to see them. I have this old weather radio that I was listening to, and the person on the radio is saying that a storm is actually headed right at us and warns us to take shelter. Please seek immediate shelter. Stay up all roads. I realize the storm is close, and I say goodbye to my parents. After I say goodbye, I go to a bedroom that I grew up in and notice that the walls are starting to dissolve. As the walls are dissolving, I can see that the tornado is coming right towards us. One of the great things about dreams is that it tells you so many things in such a short period of time. And uh, one of the, I've also marveled that I can think I had a short dream, and when I go to write the dream down, it takes me an hour to write the dream down. So <laughs> dreams have this peculiar time-space disorienting type of thing that happens, and there's a little bit of disorientation in this dream in that the, the dreamer actually has the feeling he's going back into his childhood bedroom. And in and, and dreams, that's really possible to do, but it is kind of a little disorienting. This dream is about the dark night of the soul coming, and you know that because a storm is coming, a tornado's coming. Also, we find out that God is actually the one giving the warning. And you say, how do you, how do you know that? Well, you know that because the radio that was, the radio that was being, being played, number two, it was a weather radio, and number three, radios transfer information over the airwaves. And so God is speaking to us over the air, the airwaves. Also involved in this is that it's a weather radio. Now, weather radios tell you the condition of things. It's not like a news forecast or it's not like an entertainment type of thing. It's telling you the condition of things and the condition of things to come. So you have a voice over the airwaves, the Lord, telling you about a condition of things to come and that condition is about to change. The dreamer is concerned about his mother and father. That's an emotional issue. The dreamer is kind of bewildered by going back into his childhood bedroom. That's an intellectual issue. And so you have two elements of the, of the soul, the emotions and the intellect. And the other one is the will that is also part of the, the, the soul. And so right off the bat, we recognize this is a dream about a dark night, but it's also a dream about the dark night of the soul. The dreamer goes back into his childhood bedroom. Two things regarding childhood that this, this represents. One, childlike faith that on the other side of the storm, everything is going to be okay. And number two is that things of the childhood are going to be dissolved. And you say, well, where do you get that? You get that from the walls dissolving. What do walls do? On one hand, walls can protect you, but on another hand, walls keep you from seeing the future. Walls keep you from having insight about what's going on around you. And that's the case here. Because on the other side of the wall, he didn't see what was in the room. On the other side of the wall, the dreamer saw the tornado coming. The tornado also tells us that it's a short duration. Tornadoes don't last for a week. Tornadoes last for minutes. So this particular dark night, the issue that God's wanting to get at has to do with childhood issues, walls that have restricted the ability to see what God is doing from the childhood are going to be dissolved. It's going to be a short-lived issue. It's not going to be one that's going to last a long, long time. But probably the overarching theme of the dream is this. On the other side of this, your childlikeness is going to be seen, and you're going to be able to know more about what's coming your way and God's plan for your life. It's a great dream. 